everybody. George Washington was born on February 22, 1732 in Westmoreland County, Virginia. His parents were Augustine and Mary Ball Washington. When he was a child, George had red hair. He was homeschooled at his childhood home, Mount Vernon, and grew up fairly wealthy. His father was a justice of the peace, a sheriff, and a planter, but died when George was only 11 years old. George was very close to his older brother, Lawrence, who was 14 years older. His brother helped take care of him, made sure he studied well, and taught him many things. George Washington became a surveyor when he was 16. This means his job was to go around and measure land. He never went to college. A few years later, he joined the Virginia militia and was involved in the French and Indian War. He almost died when his horse was shot from under him. On January 6, 1759, George married Martha Custis. Martha was a rich widow and George helped raise her two children. Martha and John, they lived in Virginia at Mount Vernon after the French and Indian War. Many colonists were angry about a tax. This led to the Boston Tea Party in 1773, which then led to the beginning of the American Revolution. George Washington was the commander-in-chief of the Continental Army at six feet, two inches, and 200 pounds. Washington was a tough and strong and steady leader. Over six years, was over six years, Washington led an army through his very through this very tough revolution. His famous victories include crossing the Delaware River on Christmas and the final victory at Yorktown. Virginia, the British Army surrendered at Yorktown on October 17, 1781. After the war, Washington oversaw the Constitutional Convention in Philadelphia in 1787. It was here that the United States Constitution was written. The Constitution is a series of checks and balances to set up a new form of government for our country. George Washington became the United States' first president in 1789. He served two peaceful terms as president. His first inauguration was in New York City and the second was in Philadelphia. He refused to serve a third term in office. He said that being in power too long was a bad thing. Washington died at age 67 on December 14, 1799. He died at Mount Vernon. After he died, a nation's capital was moved to an area near the Maryland and Virginia borders and was named Washington, D.C. In honor of our first president, today George Washington's face is on a U.S. quarter and one dollar bill. He is remembered as being a strong leader and as our nation's father. So. Okay. Okay. This is his earliest portrait, and it was crossing the Delaware River. That's um, George with his family, and that's signing the Constitution, and that's the U.S. Constitution, and then. That was father of our country, is his name. And then that's the one dollar bill. And that's Washington, D.C. And then there's the Washington Monument, and that's Mount Vernon, Virginia, and the quarter. And there's some facts. And then if you remember at America Tea Party, it was dumping tea into the sea. Bye.